Hey, Chuck, how are you? Hey, Barry, how are you doing? Good. Are we ready to fly today? Well, we're not quite ready to fly. Just a few more things to check out here, but we're close. We're real close. I'm just looking at the propeller here, making sure there's no nicks. It's a fantastic day, you know, and uh, I just love flying this plane, and it's just going to be wonderful to fly this today. It is a beautiful day. You know, Chuck, I've not really flown before. I've not, certainly not flown with you. Should I be updating my will? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Barry, you're a little more direct than some people are. Uh, and I have this conversation a lot with people who've never flown a small plane. Uh, this is actually one of the safest planes uh, to fly. It's got a great safety record. Uh, I'm a fairly experienced pilot. Uh, that fairly worries me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a good safety record as a pilot. I've been trained in emergency procedures. You know, it's about as safe as you can go. Actually, the most dangerous thing you did may have been driving out here. I see. But, good to know. Yeah, but it's always good to have your will up to date, though. And you know, it's funny you mention that because um, Marianne and I realized that a lot of our estate planning had been all set up to try to get the boys through school and to get our youngest child to 30. And now that that's happened, we really need to redo things. And we're thinking about how do we help those charities that we really care about, you know, after we're gone. And so uh, uh, we're going to make sure that we take care of charities that we've supported, you know, like United Way. In the will. In the will. Interesting. In the will, yeah. Interesting. You know, Gilda and I have given to United Way for years. We're, we're passionate about the mission of United Way, and I just didn't realize there was another way to do that. So that's something I need to look into as well. Yeah, there's a lot of people who do it. You know, I was uh, playing golf with uh, Jack Cosgrove uh, last year, and he said that he and Dilla were doing that, and uh, actually saw Tom and Sarah Anderson the other night, and they said that they were doing it. I'm a sixth generation Cedar Rapidian, so born and raised here. Uh, our children are seventh generation Cedar Rapidians. We want it to be a community that we are proud of, that our children are proud of. I was born and raised in Cedar Rapids, uh, went to McKinley High School, went to Iowa State University, married, stayed here in Cedar Rapids, and we've been married 55 years. We really believe in giving back time, talent, and treasure, and that it takes a combination of all three. And we feel so fortunate for what we've received in this community that we think it's incredibly important to give back. Our belief on why it's important to give within your will is because instead of just a chunk of money going to uh, people when you pass, we think that you're also trying to make an impact. And you're also trying to teach lessons about what's important within life. And nothing teaches that like giving while you're alive, and nothing teaches that like uh, giving through your will. I would say to anybody that's considering, please do it. It's a great thing to do. Um, you're, you will give to the community for a long time after we're all gone. I, I really think that the charities that, that benefit from the United Way campaign are, are very, very worthwhile, and they do a lot of good work. And, and we can continue that even though we're not here by giving in our, in our state. I think that giving uh, through your will uh, has a number of advantages um, and benefits for your family and it it's, doesn't really differ that much from why you give while you're alive. You are blessed to be here. You've had a lot of benefits from being in your community. There's something nice to think about wh when you pass that you might live on in a certain way and um, it's great if you can live on and help you know your your family uh, live a lifestyle that they like and give them the gift the gift of giving instead of the gift of receiving. So for me, um, that's why we set this uh, our will and our um, estate planning up the way we did because there's nothing better than um, giving someone the gift of uh, being able to give.